gay and overweight daughter of Starfire, DC Comics introduces. Hmm. Just like in World of Warcraft, female dwarf she appears, although instead of rough, cute, and thick like they are, suspect I do that this one will be nasty, mean, and scary. Roll on, we must. With the announcement of a brand new character in the form of Starfire's daughter, DC Comics introduced their new young adult comic, I Am Not Starfire, obtained by Bleeding Cool, based on a press release, follows the high school shenanigans of 17-year-old Mandy. The comic follows who is apparently the complete opposite of her mother, Starfire. Um, yeah, time out, time out. Uh, haven't they done this before? Raven and the Teen Titans series on Cartoon Network is pretty much Starfire's complete opposite, including being the anti-social goth shoe in character. Understand you do not, however, young bastard. Very different this is. Not just goth and anti-social, Mandy is, but also gay and... Husky! Explains the press release that... A high school outcast, Mandy is, and from under the shadow of her bright, bubbly, scantily clad and famous mother, she is trying to get out from under, dyes her bright orange hair black, and avoids Teen Titan superfans. She spends her days at school trying to hide her feelings for the gorgeous, popular, and perfect Claire in order to do so. <laughs> Boring! Yeah, there's about a million 90s teen rom-coms where this was the exact plot. Except they've just made the main character even less likable. Spending too much time with her alien mother, and while Mandy usually avoids keeping one major secret from her, she's been particularly quiet about. Out of her SATs, Mandy walked. Skipped out on SATs, and the reason she did is plans of escaping the family spotlight and moving to France. And not going to college. Mama gonna give that potato bag shaped ass a super beatdown when finds out she does. Yeah, Mandy's gonna get checked hard for that. Listen, I don't care if you look like an evil Oompa Loompa, but you gotta be straight up retarded to walk out of your SATs when your mom can literally fly to where you're hiding and spank you so hard your cheeks will be smoking. She's gonna get wombo comboed like an injustice too. <laughs> Vain, the book appears to be one of other DC Comics young adult offerings that include Whistle, a new Gotham City hero by E. Lockhart, describes the protagonist that book does as a social activist who is also trying to find their identity. As a coming of age tale, DC Comics described the book, in fact, about perseverance, heroism, making change, in your community, and finding your voice. Well, 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 hot damn, it looks like Joker has some competition now for the biggest clown in Gotham City. Purchase that book, I only would, if shows up Batman does, at the ending, to beat whistle like the tambourine they are. <laughs> now what I don't understand is why is DC Comics still trying to put out these horrible young adult novels? None of them are remotely successful. The last one I talked about in depth, Gotham High, flops so hard it's ranked at 134,462 on the Amazon book list. It didn't even break the top 100 or top 1,000 or top 10,000. Made for absolutely no one, Gotham High was. Purchased, it was only by YouTubers wanting to display the worst parts of it for laughs and views. Yeah, I mean, like, not even the intended audience the book was meant for went out to buy it. To rank that low on Amazon, you gotta have people buying it only to make fun of it. DC's young adult novels are like the Uvo Bowl of comic books. No one is buying them to enjoy them. They're only buying them to review them for laughs on YouTube. Doomed to fail from the beginning, Gotham High was. Wish I do for Big Mommy Milker Starfire to exist. So correct this timeline and DC Comics she can with extreme prejudice.